WWE doesn't care about black people. Hey, what's going, folks? Well, over the weekend, Jordan Miles aired his grievances to the WWE, more specifically Vince McMahon and Triple H, regarding a t-shirt that was sold in the WWE shop. The t-shirt depicted large lips with the words Jordan Miles stylized as teeth written inside. The design is perceived too close to blackface, which is considered offensive and disrespectful. WWE did issue a statement, as you can see here. They sent us a statement saying Albert Hardy Jr., a.k.a. Jordan Miles, approved this t-shirt for sale. As always, we work collaboratively with all of our performers to develop logos and merchandise designs and get their input and approval before proceeding. This was the same process with Albert, and we responded swiftly. Once he later requested that that logo t-shirt to be designed, no t-shirts were sold. And then Jordan Miles today did respond to WWE's official statements, basically stating, when I originally saw the design, I was uncomfortable. And rather than addressing the issue, I decided to counter offer with another. Miles then proceeded to call out Baker London, who is a creative services talent coordinator with the WWE. He serves as a talent manager for all NXT talent, working on creating logos, branding, and merchandise concepts. According to Miles, Landon stated Triple H wanted the design and his hands were tied on the matter. Miles then said he talked to Triple H, who was under the impression that the design was approved by Miles. Miles posted an email from Baker in indicating that Triple H wanted his logo to be quote-unquote more teethy. Miles also stated the whole WWE system is a fraud where you can't trust anyone. He also made mention of Hulk Hogan being still employed with the company after giving the locker room an apology for being caught of what he said. And Miles also in uploaded a video to Twitter. As you can see here, the following video that he did upload, followed by sticking up his middle finger. WWE doesn't care about black people. And Miles didn't stop speaking on WWE. He also mentioned Ring of Honor's lack of diversity in top performers. As you can see, all the tweets here, he eventually did delete the one video uh, speaking about WWE not caring about black people. And right now, we do know that Jordan Miles hasn't been seen at the WWE Performance Center or any NXT events for the last several weeks, according to Mike Johnson or PW Insider. As far as what WWE is doing, we have reached out for another comment. Uh, Clearly, they're probably just going to reiterate what they originally said. It did take some time for them to originally um, release the statement to us late last night. That being said, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to DDT that like button and subscribe. Join the notification squad to be notified of new videos. And have a great day.